Witch Hunter Blight here, and today I'm going to tell you about Blood Witches. Now, I know it's weird for a Witch Hunter to say this, but Blood Witches can come in two categories. The ones that are good, and the ones that are downright sadistic. Some use their power for, you know, the good stuff like healing and many other stuff. Others just use it to murder and destroy. Now, luckily for me, they are very easy to spot. They have elongated ears, white hair, and they usually have red eyes. They always, and I mean always, have an unnatural hair colour, usually red, white, or a more coppery brown. But, true to that, the elongated ears are a fine indicator. So, what else do I have to worry about as a person who specifically hunts blood witches. Well, you see, the, as I said, they're very dangerous, so what I do is I don't take any chances and I go straight in with a crossbow. Aim up the, aim up to the temple and shoot. Sometimes it can take more than one shot since their blood healing cap capabilities that's why I have an automatic double shot on my crossbow. It's very helpful in situations where I'm frozen in fear since some things happen when you deal with blood witches. M mostly my job as a hunter includes these blood witches. Do I think it's necessary job? Absolutely, since if I didn't do my job, blood witches would be roaming around. And I know this might sound weird for a witch hunter to say, but I don't really think any other witch hunters are really necessary, since blood witches are the only real threat. Anyway, that's witch hunter blight signing out.